All right, I'm going to start recording now. Hey, everybody, it's Bill Duran here from Punish Props in the Prop Shop, and I've got something really neat to show you guys. A lot of people like to weather their props so that they look nice and old and world-worn and dusty. And what better way to make your metal things look really old than to make them rusty. And I don't just mean making them look rusty, but to actually make them rust. To make real rust, we need to use a process called oxidation. Fortunately for me, I have a twin brother who is a chemist. Twin brother, how does it work? Uh, science! There are many products and paints out there that give your things either a fake metallic finish or a real metallic finish, and there are products that will rust those finishes. A friend of mine named Andrew Fogel turned me on to these guys right here. It's a product called Sophisticated Finishes. They come with their own primer and sealer, a whole variety of colors. I've got a gold metallic surfacer here and the real workhorse, this patina green antiquing solution. The way this stuff works is first you prime your piece. You can use the primer that comes with it or you can go use your own primer. I use my own in this case. Then you paint on the color. Make sure that you mix it up a whole bunch because the metal powder in this will sink to the bottom. This stuff goes on a little bit thin. You will definitely have to put on a couple of coats. You can also airbrush it if you like, but it will kind of clog up your airbrush a little bit, so keep that in mind. Once you have the second layer of paint on and it is still wet, any place that you want to look rusty, add some of the antiquing solution. If you let the paint dry, then the antiquing solution will have a hard time getting to the metal particles and oxidizing them. Once you have your antiquing solution on there, you just, you just wait, leave it there. And let it sit there for about five minutes and you'll see some really cool changes right away. Then you want to let it dry, totally dry, and then seal it in. Now you can use their sealer that comes with it, but I like some other stuff. You could use a rattle can or one of my favorites, this sealer that Model Masters makes for their metalizer lacquer. This helps preserve the metallic sheen. If you just use the sophisticated finishes paint system that they have here, that'll get you from start to finish, no problem. But I decided to play around a little bit with this patina green antiquing solution and see what else I could do with it. So I busted out all of my rub and buff paints and did a little test to see if it would oxidize the metal in those. And sure enough, it does. It really likes this Spanish copper too. It makes a nice sort of greenish patina on there. So I tried it out on my piece here and it's getting kind of grody and chunky and there's a cool texture to it. I like that one a real lot. Then I decided to take it a step further. I have a whole bunch of molds that I use and I'll cast plastic pieces out of them. I like to cold cast plastic pieces using metallic powders. If you'd like a really good look at some cold casting, check out this video right here by my friend Beth. With a cold cast piece like this Dragon Priest mask right here, all of this shiny surface is exposed copper metal, which means I can put this nice antiquing solution on there and get some really awesome, really, really kind of grody looking patina on there. Uh, I just put it on a couple layers. I even airbrushed some on the bottom down here and it's like legit rust. So hopefully that gives you guys some ideas out there to try out on your own and make some real rust on the stuff that you're making. This antiquing solution is really great, but there are plenty of other ways to oxidize metal. If you go ahead and look on the old internet, you'll find all kinds of ways. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you liked it, or if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you wanna talk about really cool finishes on your props, why don't you find me on Twitter? That would be twitter.com slash chinbeard and facebook.com slash punished props, and we can talk props. Yeah.